metal wings to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code, pink code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pink code. From the example of these two specimens of two-winged insects, it's obvious how very well mosquitoes are naturally adapted to the conditions here in space. That's very sweet. Hmm. Don't you have something better to do than breed a pair of skeeters on a spaceship? Sheesh, Barry. You don't understand anything romantic. Just take a look at how cute they are. Oh, please. What these two love bugs need are names, like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Nosferatu and Vampira. <laughs> oh, Barry. Why not? Romeo and Juliet. I think that sounds perfect. <laughs> oh. Ugh, let a lady do it. This. Huh? <gasps> oh. 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 Ah! oh, yeah, great experiment. Your mosquitoes sure bred all right. Ow! Oh! Darn science. Uh, well, I can't deny. Oh! The experiment has gone a bit too well. Oh! This was not the plan, but Romeo and Juliet have really thrived out here. Guess they really love outer space. Gee, you think? Geez, Doco, when will your experiment end? From here, it looks like never. Well, when you consider the rate at which the numbers of subjects is growing, um, Barry just might have it right. This runaway experiment could last forever. Oh! For ne'er was there a tale of more woes than that of Romeo and Juliet, space mosquitoes! <laughs> I can't take this anymore! There has to be a way to fight these bloodsuckers! <laughs> I think I know how. Now they won't be able to find us, which means <laughs> they can't find us. I'm sorry to say, my almost clever friend, that this method... Shushy pants! Keep quiet or they'll hear where we are! I was trying to tell you that turning off the lights won't help. Mosquitoes have an excellent sense of smell. Actually, Barry, hunting by smell is by far the most common method used by the different species of the Earth. People rely most on their sense of sight to navigate the world around them. But there are only three types of color-sensitive cones in the retina of the human eye. These correspond to blue, green, and red sensitive detectors. Combinations of these colors create our view of the world in color. The number of tastes that we can perceive is much greater. Humans can taste five basic tastes, ten subtastes, and combine them hundreds of times over. But the winner for receptors goes to the nose. The nose has 400 types of scent receptors and can detect over one trillion different odors. That is a whole heap of receptors. I don't even want to think about how many all those mosquitoes have. 
down! A mosquito may not have as many scent receptors as a human. It has only around 30. But it can detect the carbon dioxide a human exhales up to 50 meters away! Then how are we supposed to hide from them? It's not like we can turn our smell off. Theoretically, we should be able to disguise our smell with a different one. <laughs> but I'm afraid that before long, the mosquitoes would learn how to recognize us by the new one. <laughs> I got the answer. <laughs> they can smell me all they want, but they can't bite me <laughs> through my space outfit. Does that mean we'll have to wear those uncomfortable space get-ups at all times from now on? Oh, come on, Rosa. They're stylish. Don't I look dashing? Unfortunately, that's just a temporary solution as well. What do you mean? It's even got a built-in bathroom. That may be. Ugh, but it really isn't going to matter when you run out of air in half an hour. Huh? <laughs> oh, air supply problem solved. Yes, but now your spacesuit is not airtight, my incautious friend. And we know those suits are very warm, so your sweat will have intensified your natural smell. <gasps> I suppose we should try and help him, right? What if we could find a way to sort of disorient them? How could we do that? We could create so many smells that they'll be unable to find any proper direction. Imagine that someone is calling you in the darkness. You can easily find the direction and go the right way. But if the sounds start coming from all sides at once, you won't be able to determine the correct way in all that noise. I understand. We have to make noise out of a bunch of smells so the mosquitoes will get confused and won't be able to find Barry's B.O. Exactly. If mosquitoes only have 30 of those receptors, then we'll need like 30 different smells, right? Oh, uh, well, this part gets a little complicated. We'll find a way to make hmm? it simpler. No! All right, I'll try and explain everything. Our noses function in a relatively simple way. We detect smells by inhaling air that contains odor molecules. The odor molecules bind to receptors inside the nose that then relay information to the brain. But while we are constantly being exposed to new smells, these smells don't need new receptors. Then how do we distinguish all these new smells? Scientists have discovered that different odor molecules can bind with numerous different receptors to create the almost countless combinations we can smell. <laughs> oh. And because of this quality, a person can distinguish up to 100,000 smells, even with only 400 odor receptors. This is fascinating and all, but where can we get all the smells to distract the whiny swarm? It ain't rocket science, just grab stuff. Hey, they stopped biting. Thanks to Odor Palooka, this fur berries off the Skeeter menu. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, this measure is also only temporary. But it's working great! And it will keep working as long as our stink chowder smell is at full power. But I fear it has already peaked. I've got a bad feeling that our little trick might have made them angry. Oh. 
Isn't there a way to solve this problem once and for all? Preferably right away. Moose Eureka time. Actually, Barry already found the solution. The mosquitoes were so attracted by his bear sweat pong, they couldn't get into his spacesuit fast enough. There's no way. You're getting me back in that suit. There's actually no need. All we have to do is create a smell that's really strong that the mosquitoes will flock to, which we'll put inside of the mosquito terrarium. And then once they're inside, we just close the lid. Ha! That's a darn fine plan. Move! Subjects are apparently both healthy and normal. Despite their relatively contained environment, the invasion of the space mosquitoes experiment was a success. The ability of odor molecules to activate several different receptors at once was discovered by American scientists Linda Buck and Richard Axel. Their research on the structure of the olfactory system was awarded with the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 2004.